Zukunft. Secondary Air System – Basic Information For a safe cold start of a petrol engine, a rich mixture is required. That is to say, an air-fuel mixture with excess fuel. For the first 20 to 30 seconds after a cold start, the catalytic converter is not yet up to its working temperature. This means that large quantities of carbon monoxide and unburned hydrocarbons are generated between a cold start and the start of the lambda control process. The secondary air system is a tried and tested method of reducing these pollutants. Oxygen-rich ambient air is extracted behind the air filter. This so-called secondary air is blown directly into the exhaust manifold behind the exhaust valves. Here, the oxygen causes oxidation of the pollutants, thereby creating carbon dioxide and water. A positive side effect of this after burning is heat which heats up the catalytic converter further and thus brings it up to its operating temperature more quickly. The central component of the secondary air system is the secondary air pump. Secondary air pumps are high-speed, single or multi-stage blowers. An air filter is integrated in cases where the air is extracted from the engine compartment instead of the intake air system. Secondary air valves have two functions. In their function as a non-return valve, they prevent the exhaust gas condensate and pressure peaks which occur in the exhaust tract from infiltrating the secondary air pump and damaging it. In their function as a cut-off valve, they ensure that air is only supplied to the manifold at the appropriate time. Although the secondary air system is only switched on for 20 to 60 seconds after a cold start, it nonetheless causes a considerable reduction in the emissions of hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide. The system supplier Pierborg has contributed significantly to the development of the secondary air system, thanks to decades of expertise as an OEM. Today, Pierborg is a leading manufacturer of secondary air systems and is represented as an OE supplier by parts fitted in countless vehicles. Further information is available directly from your local motor service partner or from the web addresses shown.